Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here once again with a top five in the month of November 2024. These are my top five played games. So let's take a look. Number five is... Number five is one of my favorite games. It's my lunchtime game and will probably be my last lunchtime game for next five to six months, depending on weather, is, of course, Harsh Shadows by Rachel Bruner. Absolutely loved this game. I cannot say enough about Harsh Shadows. Harsh Shadows, you play a spy, an agent, trying to go after a spy who's a bad spy, in this case, codenamed Wolf Rose or Grey Knight. Okay. And you can play Agent Taurus or... Agent Davis. I like that. He looks really debonair. He looks like a kind of guy who would probably be a spy. You go around to different places. You get to move one spot at a time, either left or right, or into the center. You, As you go, you discover items, so you'll discover clues, such as a passport. You can also discover clues, so you can reveal the clues. We can discover... Reveal a false lead, which will be a laptop. You know, that would have been good if I had put the passport uh, right up on top, right? And then you just go, oh, hey, I have the passport, which is a false lead, which is, of course, really kind of nice to have. Or the third item that you can have is a bomb. And the bad guy has left the bomb. You can use a diffusing kit or you can use one of your found items. If you know what the found item is, it's usually really good. But you don't want to get rid of any of your evidence. So, number five, Harsh Shadows by Rachel Bruner. Absolutely fantastic game. So let's take a look at number four. Number four is a recently reprinted little fun game called Four Northwood! A solo trick taking game by Will Sue. This is a another great game. This is a, just a lot of fun. You never thought a trick-taking game would be possible solo, but here it is. So I'm going to go on ahead and we have one, two, three, four, five. we have eight cards out. I have, look at this, one, two, three, four, five. I should almost play this through. Uh, we're going to start over here with the King of Leaves at seven, and we're going to try and take seven tricks. We have our four jacks, which are over here to help, and we go over here. We have a two. And we'll have to play the eight, unfortunately. That's one on our side. Let's see how fast we can play this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the King of Leaves comes to Four Northwood. So this is really good. We get a, um, he now becomes Four Northwood and will be able to help us in the future. So there we go. Number four, Four Northwood. The number three game for the month is Space Hulk Death Angel. I played this game quite a bit and had video problems every time. This, of course, has the problem of Fantasy Flight. Everything does not fit. So I do put everything into this Magic the Gathering box, which is nice. Holds all the counters and stuff. There'll be a link below if you care. Uh, but it's a really great game. And you start by having your Space Marines, your 40k Space Marines. Yes, I made these cards so that it could go this way rather than this way because I don't have as much room from there to here as I do from here to here. So I made them. Took a little bit of work, but that's okay. You start with a tableau. You have nine different cards, three for each team. You pick out one for each team to go on ahead and play. You play in order of lowest to highest. So we play Overwatch. We get to place a support token down. We will put it onto Brother Valencio. At the end of the event, place each Space Marine may spend each of your Space Marines. So if I have one on each of my team members, each team member can do it. 
I may spend one support token to make one attack. So then we will have Intimidation as our next one. This is for the purple team. After resolving the card's action, you may roll a die. Shuffle that many Gene Stealers cards from your choice engaged with your Space Marine into the smallest blip pile. So we'll go on ahead and... But Dino is the only one who has one. We can go on ahead and put one in back into the smallest blip pile, which is actually this one over here. The blip pile does have your aliens, your gene stealers, that will come out as they need. You then have your attack phase, and Sergeant uh, Lexius Castius will go on ahead and do a psionic, uh, a psionic attack. So every time he kills one, he gets to try again. He, this time, unfortunately, he did miss. If he had gotten a skull, he would have gone ahead and killed one. But then we go down to Brother Valencio and his Overwatch turn. He does support. And he is able to attack. He does attack and does kill one Gene Stealer. That one is gone. So the good news is it's a Gene Stealer's attack turn. We only have one Gene Stealer out. We will roll for Brother like, see if there is a 5, it has to be this number or lower or higher. I'm sorry. has to be higher than the number of gene stealers. So you need a 2 or better. If there's a 1 or worse yet, a 0. The card dice only goes up to a 5 wherever it's at. There. Only goes up to a 5. So there's always, if there's a gene stealer, 1, there's always... One third of a chance that you're going to lose a Space Marine. So this is it. You go on ahead and pull out a vent card. You do the... Um, wow. Choose a Space Marine each time he rolls a zero while defending next round, the attack misses. That's really good because this one's going to have uh, two come out. And one, two will be on red. On this side will be red. And this side will have yellow. And this one will move, which this does not match this icon. And that is the end of the turn. And so number three, Space Hulk. Death Angel. Let's take a look at number two. My second most played game for December is Hostage Negotiator. Number two. Hostage Negotiator. You play a Hostage Negotiator. You're trying to save some hostages, you go on ahead and you have a card tableau that you can go on ahead and play. You ask, what are your demands? You roll two dice, because that's what you have right now is two dice. Can go as low as one and high as three. Roll your demands. You do have a success and a partial success, which means you can use two cards to reveal a second demand. We will reveal his demand. Um, and I can spend conversation points during the game to uh, get conversations and but there is an effect and the lieutenant and he does have a lieutenant as a backup and of course you can do things like small talk we do have a success we get a plus two and if we end our turn we can book, come over here to the tableau and buy a two point card and hopefully you will go on ahead and rescue hostages as you go. There are several ways to do it. You can get them to release hostages, or you can do escape attempts, or if they're all the way down here and the threat level, you get to have a hostage out on the opposite side. If it's on the K and there's another increase, they're gone. After your turn, where I've now bought the card, you then have a terror deck. It is 10 terror cards with a Terror Pivotal Event on the bottom. You draw a card, and it's something like, Draw and Resolve the next Red Terror card. So this is a definitely a timer deck. Getting you down and losing time, you then go on ahead and do the next one. <gasps> Uh-oh. They're not going anywhere. He kills one, and your Terror level goes up by one. Because we have a demand that is not revealed. So not revealing demands is a lot... That's going on. One of the interesting thing is 
you really want success on every single roll that you do. Especially on the first turn because it can go really bad really fast. But this is a great game. Really intense. It was rethemed into Final Girl. Which I'm going to do a video on uh, a comparison between the two. Because they're two very different games. But they're really similar. And I think Final Girl made some good improvements. So let's take a look at number one. And the number one most played game is Star Wars, the deck building game, the original version. I do have the other one, but this is the one I usually like to play because I like the Luke and uh, Vader uh, better than um, the other one, uh, Mace and um, Count Dooku. So the Imperial goes first. They start with, this is the uh, Azure Death uh, Leader's Variant. They start with three. They can go on ahead and buy anything for three. They will always buy the largest capital ship that they can afford. They can. There is only one that cannot afford that. They will buy, however, three for the... They will buy three uh, for the, the ship. And that goes into a waiting bin for another turn. They pull the next card. That's Leia. Nothing going to be able to do with that. They have two points to shoot with. They will take out the Y-Wing for one point. They will gain one extra. So that means that they will gain one here. And so they move the Force 1 in their favor. Which is not good for us, but that's okay. Card goes back. This moves down. That will be their card next time. And then we move to our turn. We have five cards as we normally do. We have two two and one. So we have two to purchase. This card is now gone and we refill. This card is, uh, we have four to snipe with. Oh wow, there's actually stuff to do. This is kind of cool. So we will go on ahead and do uh, Moth. We will gain three to the force. He's done. Uh, there's not much else we'll be able to do with him. Refill. Oh, yes, there is. We'll be able to use a TIE Fighter. And we will gain one. So that'll give us three to purchase with. And... We'll do one more. Oh no. You have to do with whole numbers. That's right. So that doesn't work. He's done. And we have four, five to purchase with. And we will buy Han Solo, who will go into our discard pile. We'll show up later. And that is one turn of Star Wars, the deck building game. And I will say this for Fantasy Flight. Everything fits sleeved in the box, including the Azure Death leaderboard. So, so thank you for coming. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please make sure that you like and subscribe. And there's our top one, two, three, four, and five games for the month of December. Thank you, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Please like and subscribe.